this video is about my experience going to the hospital for suicidal thoughts and the fact that I wanted to kill myself. I like a month or so after I came out as trans to my family, I they they didn't like take me seriously for because of when I was younger, I like people called me a boy, but I'd like flip out and be like, no, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. That was only because they were using like a boy as an insult, like, oh my god, you're a boy. You know, and I don't, I didn't, I got insulted a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And I was cool with just being called a tomboy. But yeah, so I didn't know that I was trans till I was like, I didn't know I was like actually trans until like grade 10 when I tried to come out. Okay, so back to the story. Um, so I went, so I got my friend on like Chris, like the day after Christmas. I know, worst possible choice to do it. Um, my mom and my sister and her boyfriend and Tony, they were, they went to the mall to do shopping. And I got my friend Ben, at the time they were Ben, they to take me to the hospital for thoughts. Because I really wanted to kill myself. And then they didn't, okay, they asked me like a whole bunch of questions about like, like, I don't fucking know. I don't remember really. So it was like, like more than a year ago. And yeah, so they, they like completely cool with like my whole not using my birth name. They used the correct pronouns, even though I didn't like pass. But they didn't take me in because they did, because I'm like, completely different when i'm near my friends so like by myself i can be like totally like super super depressed like with like even with my friends i can be super depressed but like when i'm with my friends most of the time i'm like a b but like i'll still be like low-key when like die you know so that um there's that i'm gonna pause yeah i was up b sort of when we went and in the hospital, they asked me, like, if I self-harmed, if I was being abused, if, like, stuff. They asked me if, if I self-harmed, where I self-harmed, what I used, and, yeah. And it was just very awkward. And me, with my whole anxiety, I would, like, everyone's scary. So I pretty much thought that the dude there was scary. The dude talking to me. Yeah. And it sucked. Because they didn't take me in. They didn't admit me. They didn't even do, like, outpatient. They just completely was like, Oh, you don't seem like someone with depression. You don't have, like, a dark cloud around you. It's just like, am I supposed to bring the fucking cloud with me? I don't have, like, a fucking cloud above my head. She'd be like, Ugh. Yeah, so they didn't admit me, and then it sucked, and I just felt like dying even more. Because I ended up leaving, and my mom pretty much blamed Ben for it. For my whole, like, suicidal thoughts and my wanting to die. But it's pretty much, like, them. My whole family. Like, they don't... Like, they didn't accept me at the beginning. And it sucked. I'm gonna make another video about what happened earlier. Because that fucking sucked. I'm pro That was my hand. I can fire it. <laughs> you could even hear that. Okay. So, I'm gonna make a video about what happened earlier in my house. There's TV on. You can hear that. I should have turned it off. Um... So, I'm gonna make a video about what happened earlier. Um, so yeah, I went to the hospital. We left because I had to go home because they didn't admit me. And yeah, so I ended up spending like most of the fucking day in the hospital and I didn't even like get admitted and it fucking was ridiculous. I could have like left and then killed myself and they didn't admit me because I didn't seem like I was that much of a threat to myself. And it's just like, what the fuck? I am like the biggest threat to myself. I'm more of a threat to myself than anyone else. So yeah, that's like, and then I got, okay, so I got to like, so since we left and I like had my phone, I was talking to my mom because I told her and then like, and then yeah. And then we went to Tim Hortons because we had I had to get a ride home. And they wouldn't even give, like, Ben a ride home. Come home. I get why, because there wasn't enough space in the car. But they didn't have to be a douche about it. And yeah. The douche. Um. So yeah. 
they were all rude. And when he shook my sister's hand, for some reason people do that, she was all like limp, like, Ugh. yeah, that's what he told me. And it's like ridiculous. You don't have to be rude to my friends. And then my mom like pretty much accused, like I go to this group called like, Open Closet and yeah, it's an LGBT group. Um, And yeah. They, they, my mom pretty much accused them of me be that the reason why I'm like LGBT and like depression and anxiety, and it's ridiculous. It's like no, that's not why. I I figured it out on my own before I even had any LGBT friends really. So yeah, that happened. And now my mom, like then my mom would like always like be like, "Am I the reason why you're all upset?" Well, how did I fail being a parent? And it just really sucked. Okay, so that's about it. So, like, subscribe if you like, you want. Like, if you, like, understand or have gone through something like this. Or, like, you know what it feels like. Yeah? Okay. Peace.